All right, I'm here with Henrico head basketball coach Vance Harmon. His team wins it by a count of 76 to 49 over Meadowbrook here in the semifinals of the Henrico Holiday Hoops Tournament. And coach, uh, guys, your pace right out the gate. I mean, the speed you play with really overwhelmed the very athletic Meadowbrook team that had a lot of block shots earlier. But John Mayesta had a great game for you, 32 points led the way. Yeah, we played. We came out with a lot of energy and enthusiasm, and I think we came out with a collective attitude. Uh, we wanted to, to assert ourselves on defense and rebounding, and I was very pleased with our seniors, and particularly Estad, Langley, Wallace, um, those four. I mean, they, they set the tone, and, and they, the rest of them had to come to the, uh, the bar on that. And you start four of your five are seniors, correct? Correct. So yes. it's, a, it's an experienced group, kind of probably celebrating the chance to make a big run this year and uh, win your holiday tournament, which I think you've won about seven or eight times before. Coming in Meadowbrook, what would you know about them? What was kind of the, the emphasis on the game plan? Well, they were very athletic. We know they're very athletic, and they play hard, and they do a lot of nice things. Uh, Sam Bryant, the coach, has really gotten that program heading in the right direction, absolutely. We told them that was a postseason team. That's a regional type game or feel that you're going to see. Um, obviously, we may see that a team like that again, and we just wanted to kind of give our guys the feel for, okay, it's brighter light, bigger game, what's going to be about. You told me before the season you felt like John May was one of the more under-publicized, and I agree with you now, cards right. in the state. I mean, 32 points, he makes every free throw he shoots, he goes 6 of 9 from deep. Eight rebounds, four assists, three steals. It doesn't make a lot of bad points. Right, yeah, and I mean, I've been saying that for a couple of years. I honestly feel like he's one of the best point guards, certainly in the area, in that definite state as well. Uh, he just steady, he's a floor jump. Um, he makes his, to me, the mark of a real good point guard or player is you make your teammates better. Yeah. You lead your team to win and you make your teammates better, and they play off of him. Is he different in a lot of ways, though, from other talented guards you've had? I mean, we've seen guys like, Timmy and Tamon Jones and Jordan Talley and others yeah. come through your program. How, what's kind of his niche and how is he similar or different to those guys? I'd say his skill level is very similar. Okay. He's built differently than he's kind of a big point guard. He's very rugged okay. and he's kind of built for a lot of contact. And he rebounds as well as any point guard that we've ever had. I mean, he averages about eight rebounds a game. Yeah. Whereas Timmy and Jordan and some of those other guys, you know, they were just blurs. Yeah. I mean, they, could, they probably had four, three type speed and a 40 and just end to end passing, but he's a little bit more uh, cerebral as far as with his movements, but he's, he's strong. I'll get to one of your, your two of your interval guys here in a minute with uh, Zyra Ever Wingfield and James Wallace, but he just walked by me the 6'5", 370 junior game. I'd be remiss if I didn't. I hear he's one of the best shooters on the team. He drew a charge he, and a three for you. I mean, he did the daily double. He takes a charge on defense, <laughs> he comes back and gets a great play run for him, catches, yeah. gets his feet set. And, Everybody, without a doubt, is a crowd fan. Sure, sure. Wallace and Wingfield, guys that are new to your program? Yes, Wallace came from Lee Davis, mm -hmm. um, and Wingfield came from Highland Springs. Then they both, so they're seniors, yes, but they're relatively new mm -hmm. as far as to what we do. But the great thing is they, they understand that it's about what we do, not what they individually do. And they both have the look of next-level guys and doing a lot out there, kind of multi-jack-of-all-trade type players uh, for you? Or? Kind of like that typical, you don't get really many big guys, but they're the Swiss Army knife type mm -hmm. mentality. Um, to watch run, you're going for a championship here in this holiday tournament. Um, you had the one slip up against Armstrong, but early in the season, though, a team can kind of take something from a loss. What did you guys take from that defeat? Uh, I think we took that if we don't show up every night to play and have a clear sense of focus and purpose, that you can be beat on any given night. Yeah. And as the guys around here figured out, when you've got the Henranco across your chest, you're everybody's big game. People want to get you, you're the measuring stick. Yeah. So if you don't bring it, they will, and then you're going to find yourself in a hole you can't get out of. And lastly, you've hung some banners in this place with some of those great teams with Talley and Smith and Jones and Buckingham and Pearson leading the way. I mean, does this group kind of want to be that next one to, to have that opportunity? I don't know. There's, you know, at this point, I don't. That, that's kind of so premature and stuff, but I will tell you, those groups, when the kids come back, mm -hmm. they always talk to the guys about the process it takes to put themselves in that position. So if we take the daily process and kind of get better each day, then that stuff will take care of itself. And absolutely, you always want to you measure yourself around here with do you hang banners. Well, thanks so much. Hope we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Appreciate it.